everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels, and it's been a really long time since I filmed live in this camera, so I apologize for all of you who've been waiting for a new video on my channel. I started to get footage out and then just been hiding out from social media in general just because I just got over COVID. I just had it, my whole family had it, and it was um, unexpected. I wasn't planning on being sick at the end of summer, and then it kind of just derailed a lot of my plans. But I've had this box for over a month and change, and my person got this to me really early at the beginning of the month, so I had a whole, a whole month to film, but with getting sick and then the family like falling in progression, I am now filming the day before we are uploading this, so I apologize so much to my person who has been so, so, so patient, knowing I've had this in my possession for a while and I haven't said, hey, did I like it or not? So I'm sure I'm gonna love it. Um, for those of you who are wondering what video this is, this is Year of the Ear. I have done this many times on this channel. If you haven't seen other video, videos go up from other channels by now. I'm sure you probably have, you're in the Disney community, but if you haven't, it's a monthly um, ear collaboration hosted by Mary and Tony at the Siskateers, and um, uh, Karen at Disney Inside Andy also helps out with this as well. So thank you to those ladies for putting this together. And we just all collab every month and put together some ears for another person in like a Secret Santa type of exchange. It is a mystery. We don't know who's gonna get us and who we're gonna get until we are assigned that name. And you can either make the ears for the person or you can buy custom-made ears for that person that you get um, as long as they are homemade by somebody else, a creator, non-official uh, non Disney ears, then that works. So I did make my ears for the swap. My person, I met her in person because she was coming out to California. We met at Disneyland, outside Disneyland, and I hope that she really loved her ears. And my box, I'm very excited to get because I just did a collaboration with her in a different swap um, or collaboration. It was a a pin pin to the uh, the week type of video uh, tag that I did and I'll put it above you guys missed that to see what I did for that but without further ado I'm gonna get into it our monthly theme because every month there's a different theme our monthly theme for August is World Showcase from Epcot I love Epcot it's my favorite park so of course I had to sign up for this one and I'm signed up for one more at the end of this year I believe or two more so you will be seeing more year the year videos from me in the future and um, stay tuned for a giveaway be part of the giveaway you have to watch every single video this month and just uh, leave a comment and then you will be entered into the giveaway. So you don't know whose video is going to be doing the giveaway, so you definitely have to watch every single person to find out. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to open up my box. <laughs> like this video if you like this kind of content. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because I would love to have help grow my community. It's been very stagnant for a while and I would love to have more Disney friends. Now I'm going to see what I have. So she uses Bibby Bobby box, which is really nice because I don't actually have this one. The designs on these are always really pretty. I like the Hollywood Tower of Terror um, on here and it's, it's a small world. Another reason I was a little distracted for getting to this box is because my daughter's birthday is in August and we just had her makeup party. We had to delay it and we all got sick, but we just had it. So I was very much invested in planning that and maybe I'll share some photos so you guys can see a really fun little turning red theme, which is a Disney Pixar movie. <laughs> travels on my card also I'm super sweaty I don't know if that's coming out on camera if it is I apologize guys <laughs> there's like a cycling event at our community where they open up all the streets so you could go bicycling you could go rollerblading you could walk you could go jogging you could go scootering so I definitely um we took advantage of that with the whole family we were like cycling back and forth it's really fun to get out with the family I have a cat cat card and something fell out I don't know if this is a sticker. Oh, nice. It's her own personalized sticker. Thank you. So this does tell me who my person is, who I already knew, but it's Beth from Villain's Advice. And she has her own custom-made sticker. That's really cool. I love stickers. Thank you. I will use that. And maybe I can put that in my Villain's board for, um, for Halloween. And I so Beth's channel, I saw a bunch of like nice Villain prints, art prints behind her. So I was like, I think I like you. <laughs> You're into art. Okay, so it says, Christina, I'm so excited to be sending you these ears. This is my very first year, the ear swap. Yay! I chose two pairs of ears. Ooh, nice. Um, one to represent the princess holding court in one of your favorite World Showcase countries. <laughs> I'm excited now. And one representing the princess who meets in my favorite. I hope you enjoy them. I'm trying to think what your favorite is now. I think I have a sense. Um, Beth from Villains Advice, and then it says the ears wrapped in yellow are from Clubhouse Design Co. and the ears wrapped in pink are from Cooper's Corner Designs. So she has two custom-made ears from designers in here 
And the yellow, the first one I'm going to open is from Clubhouse Design Co. So awesome. Thank you so much for this. I appreciate that you got me two ears. I wasn't even expecting, let alone one. This is the first one. It says thank you with some feathers. Had a nice little like neatly wrapped pair. They're 3D. They are. Th I should change shirts and put on my other one right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Okay, so my friend Christine, may, she hand painted her ears for this month's swab and she was showing bits and pieces of it for me to me and I was jealous because she picked this princess um, or this plot you know this pavilion and I was like that's my favorite pavilion one of my favorites and I was like I want those ears because I want a Mulan ears and that's what this is this is Mulan ears so this is a 3d print thank you so much Beth this is beautifully done oh my gosh and I love that it's her comb in the center with the flower and you had a little bit of the pavilion on the side I think those are mountains. I don't know what the Chinese characters mean. I'm gonna actually look these up so I can kind of translate what they are. But there's one on this side, one on that side. Maybe it means bring honor, honor and something else. But it's from Clubhouse Design Co. It says, thanks for supporting our small shop. See you again real soon. And there's a business card in here too. So let me show you the ears. Oh wow, these are really nice. Nate and Mary Lemk. So that is the owners. Uh oh, my son is tired from bicycling. If you guys hear him crying in the background, I apologize. Cool. So, <laughs> Look, there's a hidden Mickey glued on the back of this pair as well to hold this down. Okay. So pretty. It's almost like it's Mulan. This looks like it's Mulan to me. In warrior form? I'm not really sure. My eyesight is a little... Um, one of the side effects of when you get COVID is that you can get an eye infection, and I did get one. So my eyesight is like not 100% right now, but... Oh, I see it from the back. Here's Mushu. So I thought it was... Um, He's in the back. He's not in the front. I was gonna say this looks like Mulan to me, right there, like her her hair and, and everything. But in the back is Mushu. I'm almost wondering, like, does this is this glow in the dark? Like you can see the design on the other side, or is that just etched in the back? That's really cool though, because I don't see him in the front. Nope. Weird. Right? But super nice. Okay, let's try it on. And these, by the way, these are from um, Nicole, from Irresistible Magic, who made me a Thomas Kincaid print and then other pairs of ears in one of the year the ear swaps I did earlier this year. So I always forget to wear my previous sender's ears, so I wanted to just at least showcase this one because it's been hanging up on the wall back there next to the Thomas Kincaid um, Little Mermaid print, so I thought that was appropriate. <laughs> but Mulan is my second favorite princess, and I love, love this movie. I love the pavilion at World Showcase, and oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I cannot wait to wear this in the Chinese, I will definitely take this to Epcot with me and wear this to the Chinese pavilion. I might even take them to China with me at some point in the future because I just think these are gorgeous. Thank you so much, Beth. These are beautiful. And the crown, oh my gosh, just everything. These might be my nicest 3D pair of ears I own. Like it's just, they look really sturdy and they're big. A lot of times the, you know, the design is a little bit on the smaller style. I love it. Okay, so pair number one. This is going to be the second pair from, I think she said it was Club, Club something. Um, Cooper's Corner Design. Sorry, the one's Clubhouse Co Design Co. This is Cooper's Corner Designs. And let's see what they have. <gasps> it's Princess Jazz! who is also one of my favorites. So, okay. This is representing Morocco. Your order made my day. I hope this package makes yours. Oh, that's really sweet, the little, um, little thank you. These are nice with the trim and she wrapped the bow in the back. Interesting, these are like sewn. This is definitely a sewn pair of ears because it's not wrapping through the other end. So it's sewn and then glued on. Interesting, I'm looking, everyone makes their ears differently. So it's always fun to see how people make theirs. And you get ideas of different um, techniques you can try. 
but yeah this is definitely like put together and it's glued on maybe it's not sewn but it's an interesting way to wrap the bow it's the two bows you've got the gold and the blue you have the little genie's lamp right in the center i love that and then this is like a very metallic kind of uh print with the bow representing jasmine and then you've got the nice pattern all around and then the trim is neatly wrapped on all sides so very nice pattern um a little bit of a ooh, this is nice velvet this is the velvet trim on the inside of the headband to make it non-slip and that material is not cheap so nice materials used for this for sure see as an ear maker i now look at these when i go to the park i'm always like looking at people's ears going hmm it's like i like your ears can i see can i see a little close-up and people sometimes are like weirded out by it sometimes they're like oh yeah no problem <laughs> but it's because i make ears now that i'm always staring at that these are just gorgeous i'm still looking at these but i have to take them all oh it's so pretty yay i do have a couple of mulan ears but i think those might be my favorite now and this would be my second jasmine pair because the other ones that i have but they're out of frame so you can't see them but my my friend christine from magic wishing star made me a pair of jasmine ears once before and now i have these so that's exciting i have different jasmine ears as well so thank you so much beth once again for the two fantastic ears i am definitely a fan of both princess jasmine and mulan definitely a fan of morocco and um and china i would say of all the world showcase countries there are 11 i would say my favorites are probably japan china and uh, norway i like the german pretzels um so germany and the restaurant there and then i also like um uh, Mexico because Mexico just has the like, best like food and drinks and whatnot. So those are kind of my favorite. Canada I also like. That's six. Morocco is the one country that I kind of like always pass by and skip. Oh, there's France now too. France has good food. But those are my top six. Um, and Morocco, for whatever reason, like the food was really good at that restaurant, the, the quick service restaurant. But I know we never go there. Like I've walked through one time in my life and I've gone to Disney so many times, but the one time I went by, um, Jasmine and Aladdin were not out yet, so I missed them. And I don't know, but I do like the country. I'm, I'm, I've never, I do like the pavilion. I've never been to Morocco. It's one of my places I would like to go. My mom's been, so that's cool. But anyway, any that's my story. It doesn't really make sense. <laughs> but let me know what your favorite country is. I would definitely say that of my favorites, China, Japan, Norway. Yeah, those are my tops. And then I love... Um, the Canadian cheese soup and the uh, bread from Le Cellier. Definite must. And then I like the fish and chips at in London. So I pretty much like them all. I mean, I, every time I think of all the different countries, I find something that I love from each one of them. But let me know in the comments what your favorite country is from the World Showcase, what your favorite snacks are to eat there because that's always fun. And let me know which pair of ears you prefer more. Do you like the Morocco Jasmine inspiration or do you like the China Mulan inspiration? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching again, enjoying this video. I will talk to you guys soon in the next video. Don't forget to watch all the other videos that are participating in this month's collaboration to be part of that giveaway. I will have the full list in the description, and I love talking to you guys. Thanks for watching me babble, and I promise to have more content on this channel soon. I do. I do. <laughs> and I will also be doing a sale, a live sale, on Instagram. If you guys follow me there. It's at Playdates and Travels, put on the screen, and I will have a live sale coming up the next couple of weeks, so you definitely want to stay tuned to my Instagram as well. But thanks again for watching, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys!